morning from Marion Bruca in Dresden City. This is the classic spot to get the sunrise shot over the old town, which is just right here. It is a Monday morning. The city is waking up. Sorry, it's a little loud on this bridge, but we are, looks like perfectly clear skies and I think it's gonna be a great sunrise. And we will be joined today by Mike Golding, a local photographer, to chat about his favorite sunrise locations and to highlight some of the images he's got of the city over the years. All right, hey man, how's it going? So the sun is up. I apologize, there's a bit of noise on this bridge. There's a lot of traffic. It is rush hour, Monday morning here in Dresden. Mike has joined me here and we got some amazing morning light across the old town behind me. And uh, that's what it's all about. So once we get all packed up, it's time to get to a bit of a quieter location to talk a little bit more with Mike Golden. off of the bridge and it is a little bit quieter right now and it is proper time to actually introduce Mr. Mike Golding here. Uh, Mike is originally from the UK, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. yeah. Born in the UK, born in London. And uh, living here in Dresden. He's a local photographer and he's got some really amazing images. So I'm happy to be able to meet up with him this morning. So tell me a little bit about, uh, about how you got into photography and why you like to shoot in Dresden. Uh, my dad was into photography when I was younger uh, with film, but my real first uh, major step into photography was around about 99 when the first digital consumer price DLSR came out. But it was the first entry level decent price before that mm -hmm. Canon had, you know, the professional levels. Um, but that was the first one and then I started so since then it's been a continuous you know stream of pictures a bit of a love affair uh, eh? but I'm pretty nice. much self-taught I went to art school in um, about set when I was about 17 in the St Martin School of Art in London and part of that course was photography it was my favorite part of the course but yeah I never got on with film I never got on with this whole yeah. idea that you had to get the perfect shot because you were continually worried that you only had 36 pictures right 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 um, but when digital came, changed yeah, the game. Changed the game, far better. So our morning of photography exploration continues here in Dresden and we've moved on to a second location which is the Zwinger Palace and Mike just told me that right now in the summer the best time to come here in the morning when there's nobody here the fountains are actually turned off and you get this amazing reflection of the morning light from the inside of this palace. This place if you're an architecture photographer is heaven. Fountains are full with water. They drain them in the winter. They're full with water, but the fountains are not on, so you can get a very good reflection. Perfect, perfect reflections uh, of the. If there are clouds in the sky, it's even better. But uh, yeah, cut to that beautiful reflection shot. 
usually the sunrise is on this side and the sunset is on that side and you've got four of these huge fountain um, uh, whatever they would be called ponds and you can get all sorts of different uh, combinations of shots and where we're going in a minute is up there Coming here for a trip, there are it's a it's perfect location uh, for a photography trip. You've got amazing architecture. You've got the obvious um, pictures, the Swinger Palace where we are now, and there are the less obvious pictures. Um, there's it, there is a tendency just to take this amazing architecture. <clears throat> well, why wouldn't you? But I would suggest get down by the river. There's uh, one of the things that Dresden is absolutely famous for is for the, the planes that uh, sit uh, to the side of the River Elba. <clears throat> and they were at one point uh, World Heritage listed as a site. And what you can get there in the evenings, particularly in the summer evenings or the uh, spring evenings, is uh, loads and loads of, of the locals will go there and just sit out, uh, do barbecues, uh, all sorts of stuff. And to get that sort of lifestyle, the whole, um, soft light with the architecture in the background and the lifestyle in the foreground is something that as a, a visitor you often miss and that's something I think is you know, worth capturing. So the sun is officially very high in the sky now and uh, the morning shoot is over. Uh, so this is the end of the vlog. I wanted to sign off and uh, thank Mike. So thanks for coming out this morning. No problem. And uh, appreciate the knowledge that you shared with us about Drayston and about those locations. Um, and it's really valuable, I think, for people that are, are planning a trip here. Yeah, book a trip because Dresden is a beautiful city, underrated with such an amazing level of investment to bring it up to the standard pre-war standard and it's mm. incredible what has been done here i think the architecture photography especially is uh it's incredible amazing like endless there's lots to shoot in a short period of time so uh, yeah that's all great stuff if you've enjoyed uh, these videos be sure to tune in more to the visit drayston channel because for this whole month we are taking over the channel and trying to produce many vlog style videos sharing um, our experience here this summer and mike is uh, a part of one of those videos so Good. Right Glad on. to be a part of it. We'll see you on the next one.